Okay, so I wanted to do a video here and just kind of show you how to access the um, Range Rover's DVD player and watch a video while you're driving. Now, you know, obviously you're not supposed to do this, so the Range Rover has a safety feature that keeps you from doing this. So what we're going to do is go into um, the diagnostic mode to um, uh, to watch the movie while you're driving. Um, so, yeah, don't refer to this video if you get in trouble, whatever. I don't know what laws um, are on the books and what states, but... I know that in, in many states, if not all of them, that's illegal to drive and watch or have a movie playing on your front screen. So keep that in mind if you want to do this, that it is most likely illegal to do it. So I'll go ahead and show you how to do it, though. Um, so first, get your movie playing. We've got it going right now, and uh, you just go to your home screen. Keep in mind, these are uh, touch screens. They're, not, they're uh, like a pressure touch screen. It's not a touch screen where you just barely touch things and make it work. You actually have to press on it. So take your finger right in the middle here on this bar on the top and press down nice and firmly. Do it for about five seconds. And then um, after that, go over to the nav and do that. It'll take about three seconds or so, and then it'll pop up with this. And then the easy way to remember the code here is just go diagonal from the left uh, bottom corner to the upper right corner. So you go seven, five, three, just right there, and okay. So now this takes you into the diagnostic mode. And what we're gonna go to and I haven't really messed around with any of this. The only reason I even learned to do this was because I wanted to watch video while driving. So I go to the uh, video inputs, and then um, I go over to TV, DVD, and then it takes you in here. So you already got the video playing, and then you can uh, adjust your aspect ratio and, and watch videos while you're driving. See, right now we're in park, so you take it down to drive. You can see that you know it's on, drive forward, drive reverse, and then... Uh, now, when you go into reverse, I've noticed that the uh, reverse screen will pop up and it'll stay up. Um, it's not really a problem. You can back out like that and then just hit the TV mode again and get back in there. So that's basically, it's pretty simple to do. Um, and then you can drive around like this. These features stay up here because it's in diagnostic mode. So you're going to still see the back button and these two adjustment modes um, and you can't get rid of those. So it's not a big deal though. It's just something you'll see. We've got these other buttons you can press. It doesn't really help anything. So there you go. Normal mode, wide, wide two. And you can kind of play around with it and get the aspect ratio right. That's how you do it. This is a 2008 uh, Range Rover Supercharged. And um, should be other similar models, 2009, 7. Um, I'm not sure what other models have this, this setup here, but that's how you do it in this model.